Welcome to Friday Fish Facts. I'm your host, Ron DeSantis. Today we're doing the species spotlight on the freshwater archerfish. I've had a request from a couple of viewers to do one on this, so I'm excited to get onto it. Okay, this archerfish here is the smallest one that I have. Notice that the back right of the archerfish is pure black while the rest of it is black and white. Now see this bigger one here that's all black and white? Well, that one also started with the black patch on it right there. As they get bigger, they lose that black patch. There's my trio right there. These guys are new to the fish keeping hobby. Reason for that is they're from Burma and they're from a difficult to get to area of Burma. So collecting trips are very rare. So these guys know that I'm getting ready to feed them. And you'll see that these archer fish are off to the left, top left end, top of the tank. They know that when I open the middle, the flow from my filter pushes everything in that direction. And these guys are greedy little eaters and they're gonna eat first. So we're gonna feed them and we're gonna feed them some micro pellets and some flake food. Now in the wild, they eat insects, crustaceans and stuff like that. Now it's not a great idea to feed them flies and stuff you kill around the house. And the reason for that is the flies that we have locally um, they they run into like pesticides and things like that and if those fly, these fish eat those flies then they could get very sick. Now I have killed one once right in here and threw it into the tank and the second it hit the water these archer fish one of them ate it right away. Now when they hunt in the wild what they do is they spit that's why they're called archer fish when I do water changes, you can see right here, the water gets down just below the log here. And sometimes I'll put something on the top here and they'll spit up at it. And they used to be in another tank with a hang on back filter and every time it had a water change and there'd be algae hanging from it, they would spit up at the, up at the filter. It's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna feed them. Okay, we're gonna have Ben feed them. And they're gonna be the first fish up there going after it. There's some flakes. Those some pellets. I also feed them frozen brine shrimp and frozen bloodworms as well. Frozen bloodworms seems to be their favorite. They like a temperature from 77 to 82 degrees, a pH ranging from six and a half to eight. You can keep them in tanks with um, other fish like tiger barbs and stuff like that. Um, small fish they will eat and they can get up to six inches long although more commonly they get up to five inches long. One drawback of keeping these guys is they do need a rather large tank. Minimum tank size is 55 gallons. You won't want to keep them in a pair because one will just bully the other one pretty much to death. They are a little bit on the aggressive side. Well they aren't like nippers they are chasers and they will swallow small fish whole. So I recommend getting at least a minimum, either a single species or getting at least three to start. One fish that I definitely would not put with these are angelfish. I had them in there together for about 30 minutes and all they did was fight. They, both species just went after each other. I hope you like this uh, version of Species Spotlight. The freshwater, not to be mixed up with the brackish, freshwater clouded archerfish. Join me next week for another edition of Friday Fish Facts.